baby was born without a brain. Three years later, the doctor discovers a miracle. You'll probably fall off your chair after hearing today's stories. In this video, you'll find out more about an exceptional child. It concerns the English boy Noah Wall. He was born as a baby without a brain. Later, doctors discovered a miracle. Do you want to know more? Continue watching. Trevor Judge Waltrip First, we'll tell you the story of another child, just as extraordinary as Noah Wall. It's about the American boy Trevor Judge Waltrip. Trevor was a special little boy born on Christmas Eve in 2001. However, that wasn't the most remarkable thing about his birth. Trevor was also born without a brain. Yes, you heard it correctly. This baby was born without a brain and managed to survive. All he had was a brain stem. This caused a large amount of fluid in his skull, which was why his head grew in size. This disease is called hydrocephalus. Most children with such a condition don't survive. It is an extremely rare condition, but Trevor's mother had eventually found a Facebook group to support parents with similar children. This showed that Trevor wasn't the only one with such a condition. His parents were able to get a lot of support from others, yet this was an exceptional situation, as you can imagine. When Trevor was only 12 weeks old, the doctors told his parents that he probably wouldn't survive. Oddly enough, Trevor did survive. Months later, the miracle child celebrated his first birthday. Everyone was surprised that he had survived. He then celebrated his birthday year after year. It was apparent that this child was exceptional and strong. He survived all this even though the doctors had lost all hope for him and couldn't do anything to help him. It was such a unique condition that there was no cure for it. And even without any treatments, Trevor surprised everyone with his strength. The little boy couldn't do much. He was blind and couldn't talk. He laughed a lot and was able to communicate in other ways, which is also astonishing. His mother explains that her son is extremely alert. He understands everything. He doesn't like to be alone. He always wants to have company around him and hates it when he is all alone. He can also show this in his way. When he is with his family, he is incredibly cheerful. Miraculously, Trevor has lived 12 beautiful years. One night, he fell asleep and didn't wake up again. Trevor Judge Waltrip passed away after many challenging but happy years. It's impressive that he managed to survive for this long. His family still misses him every day. It's been seven years since Trevor passed away, but he left a big impression. The doctors still don't understand how he managed to survive that long. After he passed away, the Waltrip family asked for donations to cover the funeral costs. Many people were touched by the story and donated. Trevor received a beautiful ceremony on the 30th of August 2013 to celebrate his remarkable life, and he will forever be in the hearts of these people. Also, his story has been discussed many times in the news and is still mentioned today. It was indeed an unforgettable and true story. French man without a brain. However, it appears that you're never alone, no matter what kind of problems you have. Several people have an exceptional condition like Trevor and Noah. Perhaps there aren't many of them, but they do exist. The person in the second story knows exactly how Trevor and Noah felt. His story is known worldwide. He wants to keep his identity a secret. It involves a man from France. His brain was damaged by 90%. It's also interesting to know that this man is already more than 50 years old. He has lived his whole life with this condition. He has lived longer than many other people, and those people usually have a well-functioning brain. Maybe even more peculiar was the fact that this man didn't even know what was taking place in his skull. When he was a grown man, his legs started to bother him. His left leg regularly felt weak, and he therefore went to a doctor. A scan was done there, and everyone was amazed at what they saw. The scan showed that this man had no brains at all. There was only fluid with a thin layer of brain tissue. It was unbelievable. This man had a similar but different condition than Trevor. It turned out that he was born with a condition called hydrofacilis. As a baby, he had too much cerebrospinal fluid in his brain. However, it wasn't as bad as Trevor's condition. It was less significant. The French man had surgery for this when he was 14 years old. After that, he was healthy again. Afterwards, he lived a normal life. He had a job and was married and had children. So nothing serious seemed to be wrong all those years. Nobody could have seen this coming. 
Researchers think that the fluid in his brain had worsened over the years. It probably got so bad that it completely damaged the rest of his brain. In the end, the man had about 10% of his brain. However, it is very peculiar that he was still able to function normally. The man's situation had also had a profound impact on researchers. This man who had almost no brain in his skull had become over 40 years old, was functioning normally and didn't even know what was going on. How was this possible? How could the man have such a high level of consciousness? The researchers were very challenged by this. This led to the idea that consciousness may not have had anything to do with the brain. Consciousness might have had to come from somewhere else. But where? Was it trained? The situation was very peculiar. Many years later, after infinite research, there was more insight into this situation. In 2017, it turned out that the man had non-communicable hydrocephalus. This means that the brain is still present but compressed by all the cerebral fluid. This is probably why he is still able to function normally, even to this day. In any case, it is a very peculiar situation that can probably be discussed endlessly. I think my brain has expanded after hearing these complicated stories, probably yours as well. This is another reason to subscribe to our channel. Not only are these stories interesting, but they can also make you smarter. Also, click on the notification bell to never miss such an educational video again. Noah Wall Now we have the last story connected in a certain way to Trevor's story, and that of the unknown Frenchman. This is the story of Noah Wall. Michelle and Rob Wall were super excited when they were told that they were pregnant with a son. They already had two daughters, and this little boy would complete their family. They were delighted with the news. Unfortunately, they also received bad news. The baby was in bad health. He didn't grow and develop as he should in his mother's belly. After a while, it turned out that he had several health problems and those were very serious. He had a rare form of spina bifida, an open spine on the body due to spinal vertebrae not closing correctly around the spinal cord. His brain was also affected. You could almost say he didn't have a brain. The baby only had 2% of a brain in his skull. This created more fluid, which made his head bigger. We also saw this with Trevor Waltrip. This was very dangerous because it meant that the rest of his body couldn't function properly either. Without a normal brain, he wouldn't be able to do anything. He probably wouldn't even survive. The doctors explained to his parents how serious the situation was. They recommended them to have an abortion. The baby probably wouldn't survive, and if he did, he would be completely disabled and barely able to do anything. The doctors recommended it repeatedly. Eventually, they suggested it about five times. However, Michelle and Rob had a clear opinion that they would keep the baby at all costs, and they did. When the parents and doctors heard crying during childbirth, they were surprised. The baby had miraculously survived. He was stronger than they thought. He was named Noah. After the birth, the doctors put stitches on his back to solve the spina bifida. Noah was always in danger, but stayed alive. After a few years, it even seemed that the happy boy was improving. He got an MRI scan that would surprise everyone. The baby was born without a brain, as it were. But three years later, the doctor discovered a miracle. Noah's brain had grown. He no longer had a brain of 2%, but 80%. His brain was now almost as big as that of a normal child his age. However, nobody understood how this was possible. Noah continued to surprise everyone and prove himself as a miracle child. No one had an explanation for this. Noah subsequently became a fascinating case for researchers. His mothers think it was to do with Noah's independence. His parents have always tried to give him an everyday life as independently as possible. He sat in a wheelchair so he could move around and play with his friends. Noah was known as a cheerful and strong boy. Perhaps his cheerfulness also had a good influence on his health. Whatever it was, it worked. Over the years, Noah has learned to count and speak. By now, he can already say basic things. He also knows how to laugh, as he always does. Everyone around him is delighted with him. His parents are incredibly proud of their son, who makes them happy and surprises them again and again. Michelle and Rob have always been positive people. They explain that this was also the reason for keeping Noah. They had full confidence in him and Noah certainly made sure his parents could continue to have such faith. Noah is now seven years old. He attends school and is learning more and more. His story has become known and is regularly in the news. Also, newsreaders keep saying how cheerful Noah makes them. 
he has a catchy smile and a lot of humor. Noah and his parents hope that he can walk in the future. That is still difficult, but everything is possible when it comes to Noah. Who knows what significant progress and new surprises he will show in the future. What a wonderful miracle child. What do you think about these rare conditions? Are you surprised by them or have you heard something like this before? Please share your opinion with us in the comments. We are very curious about it. We would also like to see you tomorrow for a new video. Thanks for watching.